It's that time again. Let's talk about current obsessions. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my top 10 current favorites over the last couple of months, actually. I didn't do a favorites last month, so I've got some really, really good things to share with you guys. As always, everything is always linked down below in the info box. Just hit that show more. It'll expand, and everything that I talk about will be linked there for you guys in the order that I share it. If you are new to my channel, my name is Amanda. It is so nice to meet you. I hope you stick around. I do these favorites videos every single month. I also share a lot of fashion and luxury, all of the cherries on top when it comes to life. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification button. But let's go ahead and get started. I usually like to start these videos sharing my current beauty favorites of the month, but this month I wanted to talk about a brand that I have fallen in love with over the last several months, to be honest. If you watch my favorites videos on a regular basis, you know I've talked about this deodorant. I've also talked about this body wash as well as their body serum. This brand has really kind of made its way into my my life. It is now like I'm obsessed with the entire line at this point. If you are looking for a natural clean deodorant, I highly recommend this one from Necessaire. I use the fragrance free version, but it also comes in sandalwood and eucalyptus. One of my favorite things about their line is that it is simple. They really, really focus on quality ingredients and products that work and do the job as as opposed to just having this massive line that can be a little bit confusing because what is it that you need? What is it that your skin needs? What is it that your body needs? They really simplify the beauty, your, like your beauty routine. And every single product that I have used has been amazing. I've also been using the body wash for several months at this point. I am so excited to say that I did partner up with Necessaire for today's video. So thank you so much to Necessaire for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for a clean deodorant, check this one out. But I did want to talk about some of their body products in today's video. So I've already talked with you guys about their body wash. This is a new must have for me. I have gone through at this point three or four bottles of this. I personally love the eucalyptus, but I have tried the sandalwood like that one as well. And if you are a little bit more sensitive or you're trying to avoid fragrance, they also have a fragrance free version for you you as well. Their body wash has tons of vitamins and oils to soften and nourish the skin. I really, really like it. It's very, very gentle. It doesn't strip my skin. And when I get out of the shower, my skin just feels really, really soft and nourished. If you've been following me for a while, you know I talk a lot about exfoliation, more so on the face, but I think a lot of times we forget to exfoliate the body. This is basically a two-in-one. So there is chemical and there is physical exfoliation, this is going to do it all. You've got glycolic acid, you've got the manual exfoliations with the really, really light beads in this. If you are looking for a once or twice a week treatment to do all over your body so that you have fresh, beautiful, soft, glowing skin, this is the product you need. I love the fact that their products are not just skincare like essentials, but they put amazing skincare ingredients in body products. So this is their body lotion and it has niacinamide in this. So this is going to help keep your skin fresh and clean and of course hydrated because this one also has that blend of three different luxury oils. I love using this and applying it right after I get out of the shower. I like doing the fragrance free when it comes to lotion especially during the day because it doesn't mix or interrupt my perfume of the day but I really really love the texture of this one it doesn't feel oily and it just soaks right into the skin and your skin just feels so soft and nourished this is another one of their products that I have been using for a while this is actually my second tube of this this is their body serum you can actually layer this underneath the body lotion or you can mix it like 
like cocktail it into the body lotion before you apply that over the skin. We often talk about serums on the face, but tend to neglect our body. The skin on our body needs serums and treatments like that as well. This one has hyaluronic acid, it has niacinamide, and it is extremely nourishing to the skin, especially when you pair it with the body lotion. I really, really love the texture of this one, and it comes in a pump, which makes it really, really easy to apply. If you haven't found that perfect shower and skincare routine, I definitely recommend you try their products. Like I said, I've been using all of their products and a few others for many, many months, so it was really exciting whenever they reached out to me and wanted to work together because it was already a brand that I'd already been sharing with you guys and loving and purchasing on my own. I really, really love their products. The ingredients are amazing, and I love the fact that they pair like skincare essentials with skincare ingredients, not for your face, but for your body, which tends to be an area that we don't often treat the same way we do our face. So check these out. I'll link them all below for you guys. Next up, I wanted to talk about a couple of home items that I have really, really been obsessed with recently. And first up is this bowl or bowls because I have every single size available from Mackenzie Child. I have fallen so in love with this brand, you guys, like not even kidding. I love just I don't know, it just gives me like the smiles. I love it, it makes me so, so happy. This is the large size, but I do have one bigger and I do have, I think two smaller than this. There are four different sizes. I love the fact that you could use these for serving if you're entertaining, but they also just make great salad bowls, you know, for the dinner table, popcorn bowls for movie night, and they are just so much fun. These are these kind of pieces that you can have for many, many years, pass down to your children, and I, just cannot stop buying their pieces. I really, really love this bowl. This one is called, I believe, the Everything Bowl or the Everyday Bowl, and I love it. Like I said, I have it in every single size. It also comes in different prints. This is their classic, like, checkerboard print, um, and I just love it. I love this. This is called the Courtly Check. They also have the Royal Check, which these squares are blue instead of black. I decided to go for the classic. I considered the blue because I did think that that would match a little bit more with my decor, but I decided to opt for more of the classic black check and I am so glad that I did because it adds this like pop of elegance to my kitchen whenever these are out whether it's like a pot or a pan is out on my stove or we're using this for dinner or popcorn and there's just something so elegant about it I feel like a legit grown-up using these you guys like sometimes you guys feel like you're still like a kid or like maybe you're just I don't even know do you ever sometimes feel like how am I a grown adult with kids and like a house and like all of this stuff? Do you ever feel like that? Sometimes I do and like this makes me feel like a true adult. I don't know. You know you're an adult when you get excited about bowls. I also just have to mention this tea kettle also from Mackenzie Childs. Honestly, their entire tea kettle collection, whether you go with this print, this particular one, I think they have three or four different tea kettle options. And then of course, all of them come in different prints. I went for the flower market in white and I just love this. I actually leave it out on my stove. So it is that perfect pop of color and that perfect pop of print in my kitchen and I just love it. This is a whistling teapot. So they have like the non-whistling ones and they have this one, which is a whistling one. I find this one to to be a little bit more practical and realistic for my wandering mind. I tend to forget when I have water on the stove. So I love this. Again, feel like a true adult having like a tea kettle and loving a tea kettle and sharing a tea kettle with you guys, but it's beautiful. It's one of those pieces that is just such a beautiful piece for not only your own home, but it would make a really, really nice gift as well. Next up, I just had to share my Theragun with you guys. I did not understand the hype of this at all. It just, I don't know, I didn't get it. I did not get it at all and my husband actually got one and he loved it. Tried convincing me to try it and I just was not at all interested, not even in the least. And one day he decided to 
try it on me and I completely understood. It is so great for recovery after a workout or even just right before a workout so that your muscles are really, really loose or if you have any sort of issues, you know, this really, really helps. Now I have my own and I love it, you guys. Like I said, I do sometimes do this before my workout, but my favorite way to utilize it is after my workout or even the next day if I have any muscle achiness or fatigue or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for you guys just so you can see. You've got different heads that it comes with. I think it came with three or four different head options. This like dome one is the one that I keep it on primary and that is what it looks like and you just put it like on your muscles. Oh, it feels so good. So you have to put it on the muscle, not on the joints and it just kind of massages all that muscle out. You can do it down your back. You can do it even on the bottom of your feet. I really love the way that it feels on the bottom of my feet. Um, I can do, you can do a whole body. So if I do like a leg workout, I will do my legs after a workout. And if I'm still sore the next day, I will do it again. I also just enjoy the way that it feels on my back and in my neck area. I hold a lot of tension in my neck and upper back. And so I like to use this before I go to bed. It just helps kind of release that stress so I highly recommend if you've you know not sure if you should get one of these it's worth the hype I have been buying a lot more workout clothing recently just because I enjoy having options because I work out a lot more you know just over the last several months I work out a lot more and I got these two tops from Lululemon and I love love them so I just wanted to share so first up I think this is part of their I think it's called the love collection I really really like it it came in of course a ton of different colors and then I think two different stripe options um, I'm gonna go ahead and order a couple more of these just because I liked the material and the fit of it I think this one was under 50 bucks as well which is a good price for Lululemon Lulu can be pretty expensive but my favorite was actually this top this one only came in, I think, two colors, uh, maybe three. I think it came in like a purple and then maybe a white. It's kind of hard to tell. I actually shared this one on stories the other day, but this is almost like, do you see that kind of, there's like holes in this material. I really, really enjoyed this, especially in the really, really hot summer working out outside. Um, I really enjoyed working out in this one. The material was really, really light, really, really breathable, but you can't see through it. Um, I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up, but you can kind of see it. Do you see it right there? Um, there are holes in it. It just is such a great fabric to work out in. So I will make sure to link both of these down below. Both of them are um, short sleeve and this one appears to be on the crop side, but I would definitely say it is not a cropped top at all, um, especially if you wear like a higher rise like legging. It's not like cropped at all. It fits really, really nice, but I really love both of these. This one was over 50 dollars but i'm gonna probably buy one more and this one was under which i still think is a good price for lulu because like i said they're a little bit pricey i also had to include these good american jeans i actually bought these for the nordstrom anniversary sale so i was able to get them on sale but they are worth the full price trust me i love the wash in the fall and winter i really prefer a darker wash jean and typically avoid any holes just for the weather if it's colder. Not that it gets cold in Texas because it doesn't, but these jeans are so, so flattering. If you have any issues with the like butt gap or waist gap in the back, you will not have that problem with these jeans. They have a lot of stretch. I love the high rise. The length actually fits me like a full length pant. These are marketed or labeled as a crop pant. So keep that in mind. If you are on the shorter side like me, I'm five foot one, this is a crop fit and they fit me like a full length pant, but they might fit you like a crop if you are a little bit taller. I really, really like these jeans. These are currently my favorite jeans in my jean collection. I just feel really, really good in them. They are so flattering, and I think a good dark classic wash with no distressing is perfect to get for year round. And this coloring and just 
all of even like that little touch of fade like fading it's not faded but that little bitty touch just gives it like the perfect interest that you need but it is a classic classic pair of denim that i think everybody needs and these are super flattering next up i just have to talk about two pair of sandals that i have been wearing and loving a lot lately first up are these valentino roman rock studs i've talked about this collection a lot because I'm obsessed. I really, really love this collection. I have just fallen in love with this collection just in general. I still love the classic rock stud, but there is something so, so fun about this collection. I have a handbag. I have the shoes. I think that is it, but I love it. And I have them both in this color and they're just immaculate. I really, really love these. I went true to size in these and they fit me perfect. I mean, they're, and they're, they're comfortable for like a flip floppy type of slide. Keep that in mind. There's not a lot of support or anything like that, but I actually took these on vacation. They were the only true like shoe that I took. I took a pair of sneakers. I took these and then I took a pool sandal, but this is the shoes that I wore for outfits. When we went on hikes and bike rides, I wore the sneakers. When I was like getting dressed, I wore these and when we went to the pool, I wore the pool slides and I had no problems with them. They were comfortable for everything that we did. I love these and I love the color. And then next up are my Dior D-Way slides. So if you follow me on Instagram and watch my stories, I actually talked about these a few months ago, I think. Are you okay, Izzy? Are you okay? <laughs> she just coughed. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram and watch my stories, I actually talked about these a few months ago and just kind of said that they weren't wearing really well as far as like comfortableness. My foot would slide back in them and I just didn't feel really, really secure in them. That is not the case anymore. I think they just needed to stretch out and now they are stretched out and I actually wore them just a couple of days ago for the entire day and we went so many places like I am talking places that you go to walk around and we did like a lot of things walking around and then we went grocery shopping after and I wore these the entire day literally the entire day and they were great they were comfortable they had stretched out my foot did not slide back my foot felt really secure um I love them I really really like them so much so that I could potentially maybe consider getting another color like maybe like the print like the what is it like not the what is it like the the twall or I don't what do you call that I don't even know but the one that looks like a picture um like the old school picture I may maybe like in that blush pink color or something I don't know I love these these are classic and I'm glad that they stretched out so if you have these and your foot is doing the same thing stretch them out a little be patient if you've considered wanting these and you were worried about that they do stretch out and eventually will work for you I ended up going with the 37 in these which means I went up half a size I'm typically a 36 and a half or a six and a half in my shoes and these fit perfect. I don't talk about undergarments very much here on my channel so when I do you know it's because things are that amazing. Um, I know I've talked about this bralette before in the past but it has been a very very long time. Since I've taken the last couple of weeks off I didn't want to wear very many bras very often so this is what I wore and I love it. I never stopped loving it. I have always loved it. It has been my obsession since I started buying them but I just wanted to remind you guys and maybe you missed the video that I talked about it but if you're looking for a good day bra something that you can wear around the house and you just don't want to wear nothing or just something casual I'm not saying I don't wear this out of the house because I absolutely do if I'm just gonna go run a couple of errands or I just want to be super 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 comfortable this is the bra that I wear I'm not even kidding I probably have eight 10 of them it's ridiculous but I love 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 them they are very supportive so it's not going to be like typical bralettes where it just feels kind of floppy still no you don't have that problem the support is there just like a regular brawl but it is just done in this perfectly comfortable way you've got this slight slight uh thicker waistband like band around the bottom it is adjustable so it's not like those like lacy just for show bras that you know you kind of have underneath the sweater no it's a bra it's a bra you're gonna get all the support you want and 
It's not going to make them look like a uni boob or anything like that. They are going to be separated and up and perky and all of the things, but you're going to be really, really, really comfortable. Um, so it is more of like a triangular shape um, and it's just the best the best bralette that that is on the market like i'm kidding i haven't tried them all but i promise you this one's really 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 good i have it in the nude i have it in black i have it in white i wear them all the time and i highly recommend if you're just looking for something super super comfortable get this one trust me you'll love it and last but not least we have to talk about my favorite handbag of the month i have not put this bag down since i got it I'm obsessed. I have literally worn it every single day and that does not happen for me. This is the only bag that I took on vacation. The only bag. I took this and I took a pool tote and I didn't even end up using the pool tote. This is the only bag that I wore the entire vacation and I loved it. It went with everything. It was comfortable. It fit everything that I needed. It looked adorable. I love it and then when I got back I was like oh I'm gonna put it away I was like no I'll just go and use it tomorrow and then I'll put my stuff away you know tomorrow sometime and I have not moved out of it yet I love this bag so so much and I know I've mentioned this in another video but if you're looking for that first luxury bag this is a really good option the quality is there the size is really good you've got the versatility of being able to wear it crossbody you've got an adjustable strap and it's under $1,500, which is very, very difficult these days with luxury handbags and the price is just skyrocketing up and it's just ridiculous. This is a really, really, really beautiful bag. You can see the size. It's not a huge bag, so you're not gonna be able to fit like a full-size wallet, full-size this, full-size that. No, you're gonna need to downsize a little bit, but you're gonna be able to get everything in there. I use my card holder they're actually not the same color but i use my ysl card holder my six ring key my phone um i'll do like a little toiletry bag with some essentials um and if, if it's everything that i need i really really love this it also has this adorable little tassel very very similar to the gucci soho disco you guys know i used to own that in the past or if you don't know i did used to own that in the past and i like this one better i think the quality of this one's better i think this one is gonna hold its shape a lot better I also think this is more classic than the Gucci Soho Disco. YSL is just giving me all of the feels. It is one of my favorite brands now. It's not my favorite. I feel like I'm cheating on Louis Vuitton even saying that, but I really, really love this bag. I highly, highly recommend this bag just in general, but if you are just kind of starting in the luxury space, this is a really, really beautiful classic bag, everyday bag, a bag that you'll be able to wear for many, many years. And I really think that this is going to hold um, the shape a lot better than like, let's say the Gucci Soho Disco. I've seen some of the older Gucci Soho Discos on the pre-loved market. They look like really, really loved. And um, this one's just a little bit more structured. Love the um kind of poofy chevron or whatever you call this i love it i really really highly recommend this bag and i'm not sure when i'm moving out of her yet so that is it you guys 10 ish things that i am currently obsessed with as always everything will be linked down below in the info box if you're new to my channel my name is Amanda. Hit that subscribe button for more fashion, luxury, and lifestyle videos. Before you head out, make sure to watch one of these, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and thank you again so much to Necessaire for sponsoring this video. Bye-bye.